I mean, shut up, sit down, listen to what I have to say. Why are you promoting this? You demented half panda, why? What? No! <laughs> So, what is the secret? <sighs> Various first person, but whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It's called a tell, something you can't hide no matter how hard you try. Is that okay? Whatever Hina lies, tip of her nose gets a little bit longer. Huh? For real? <laughs> Actually, no. Huh? Huh? Oh. But your action just not confirmed it. You were lying. Oh. That's not fair. <laughs> if you're going to lie, at least you try to lie convincingly. Hina. Yonos, were you lying about your stomach ache? Yes. I see. Why? Why would you lie about that? That's it! I'm sure of it! You feeling guilty about something? Just a second! No, that's not it at all. But... I mean, I have no reason for it. A reason? Uh... What is the Sorry. reason? I didn't have a stomachache. I did it because even if I told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe it. The well... truth? I saw it. So what? A ghost. Hmm? You mean like that ghost? Hey. Is there more than one ghost? But I mean, ghosts are... What the heck? So I told you you wouldn't believe me. I told you I don't believe you, but Hina. I believe you. No matter what anyone else would say, I believe what you say, no matter what. So you can tell us exactly what happened? If you really mean that, Sarakura, then okay, I'll tell you. So, um... Happened last night. Oh, they have to show this picture again. Of course they did. I was in bed thinking and I just couldn't think about everything that's happened up until tonight and I'm just getting more upset, so I'll try and cheer myself out there to get some donuts. Huh? Donuts again. Honestly. And you ignore the rule regarding nighttime. Sorry. I know, I'm sorry. I feel really bad Hina. about that. Please continue. But... Well, so I left my room and head for the warehouse. Then I started hearing a strange sound. It's loud in my ears. Well. It's coming from the direction of the bathhouse, so I headed that way. The lock was halfway open, so I took a look inside. And I saw a human shape surrounded by a pale green light. There's no doubt who it was. It was Shihiro. Say what? Honestly. Something not possible, you must be mistaken. Just as in most cases paranormal activity is born from your weakened mental state. Well then. All we have to do is see for ourselves, right? Let's just go to the bathhouse and see what he and I saw. <sighs> it is a waste of time, but maybe there's no harm in it, right? If you don't find anything, that'll be the end of it. What? You're gonna try to see a ghost? Is that really a good idea? It might put a curse on you. What the heck? You can wait here if you want. Please! Oh gosh. Hey. What are you gonna do, Celeste? There is nothing to be done. I suppose I have no choice. Hmm. How about you, Mr. Ishimaru? Are you going to wait here? Oh. I guess uh -huh. that's a yes. All right, here we are. So, um, it's right here. I saw it right here in the dressing uh, room. Um. Come on, come on. Ch what? Cthulhu? What does Ch what does Cthulhu have to anything to do with this? Hina. Where's the last time you saw Chihiro's ghost? Well. And then when I opened the locker, I saw a kind of pale outline of Chihiro. So, over here. Is this the locker? There's something in here. It's a laptop. A laptop? What's something like that hey. doing here? I remember seeing this. It looks like the laptop is all covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken too, huh? Too bad. But how did the laptop get the library to here? It would seem... I guess it's in sleep mode, but the power is definitely on. I thought it was broken. Hmm. I would bet that Chihiro fixed it. After all, he was known as the ultimate programmer. Then perhaps. More importantly, Hina, you said you saw a green light, yes? Surely you don't mistake the light of the monitor for a ghost? <laughs> I'm surprised you were able to dress yourself in the morning. Oh, come on! Uh -huh. If I had the love's clueless girl's attribute, I would have fallen in love big time just now. Shut up. <laughs> so glad I don't have it. Shut up! <laughs> I don't even expect to find a freaking laptop inside a freaking locker, okay? Hey, come on! I didn't make a mistake like that. Mm. As a matter of fact, one time I thought I spotted a gray alien, but it turned out to be a tadpole. Really, dude? What are you saying? Yeah, what? Don't be mean! Just trying to make you feel better. What if I get all depressed forever now? This isn't really strange. What's this laptop doing in here? In other words, maybe someone hit it here. But we found it pretty easily. Wrong. Whoever put it here, I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. What do you mean? Hey. I mean, you notice there's one big difference between the room and all the others. There's a difference? There's no surveillance cameras. Ah. Yes, it's me. Yes, it's me. What are you, Golden Freddy? There's no camera in here, which means this is the one spot where the mastermind is blind. Hmm. 
Don't mm. put the lights on in here, so that's why I wouldn't know about it. Stop with the mm. Mm sounds. It's true. And what Hina saw wasn't the ordinary glow of a computer screen. It was a figure of Chihiro shining pale green. Hey. I think it'd be best if you can guess the laptop a little more in detail. Okay, let's look at the laptop. This way isn't on. The laptop definitely has power. So then. We have to wake it up. Right. Start hitting random buttons on the keyboard. The display instantly began to grow pale green. There's a bunch of different icons on the desktop. Hey. The icon on the far left, what is it? It says Alter Ego? Hmm. Literally means another self, I believe. In the field of artificial intelligence, it's not uncommon to create different aspects of a personality. You can consider it something like a pen name. Makoto. Could you let me see it, Makoto? With, the, with that, Kyoko moved between me and the computer. She moved the cursor over the Alter Ego icon, and when she double clicked it, Screen suddenly went dark, and then a voice spoke to you us. You really came! Master, you're here. Oh, look at that. Taking up the entire display. Oh, no! Buddha and sweet baby Jesus, save me. Dude, what are you, Ricky Bobby? Calm down. It's not a ghost. What? What? Um... What is it? Anyway... Just talk to it, we'll find out. Type hands blurring across the keyboard. What are you? And then... Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. <laughs> I always get so embarrassed introducing myself. That voice, the tone, and everything. Mm. It's Chihiro. I knew it. I've heard about this kind of AI program, but I've never seen one for myself. AI that's program? That's right. It's how Chihiro earned his title of Ultimate Programmer. The AI lives in the computer by repeating different tasks against knowledge and grows bit by bit. Apparently, Chihiro used a support vector machine and reinforcement learning to develop it. I have no clue what any of that crap means. <laughs> Eventually came up with a breakthrough in artificial intelligence design. Support vector machine, reinforcement learning. It's true. But simply it's a learning left method for computers. Um, if you want to know more. That's it. I'm sure of it. Just Google it, okay? Yeah, sure. Because Google's not the answer to In everything. other words. The same AI continues to grow become more than just a piece of software to help people. Some say the AI like this might replace people. No, never mm. will. That's why I call it Alter Ego. Fine choice, I must say. Create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. Plus isn't different to how much humans work, no. It's not alive, it doesn't have a soul. <laughs> you to raise your own AI that way, it would make a perfect sense to refer to it as an alter ego. Sorry, I no. See. Second perfect personality that can never forget or grow old. That's what Chihiro created. That's alter ego. How do you know so much about this? Are you okay with this? Anyway, so he fixed the broken laptop, put his own program on there. This is what it means, yes? Then he brought the machine to this dressing room where the mastermind would not be able to see it. <laughs> but you know all this about master and whatnot. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, shut up. Huh? Thought you were only in the 2D. Da, 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 da. This is the most excellent 2D possible. Huh? But he's a guy and also a computer program. I feel as if. Well, that aspect is no problem. I don't. Oh gosh, I don't want to know. I mean. That aspect. Anyway. Anyway, let's talk a little more. Ugh. How much do you know about what's going on? Master. Only gave me a general idea. Well. But I do know the things have become very grave. He found himself caught up in this without warning. Can you immediately shout out another question? Why are you here? That's right. Are you asking me what Master had planned for me? Well, he wanted me to analyze the massive number of files stored on this laptop. Um. I believe the files are related to the school, but the protection on them is surprisingly strong. So it's make, taking a little longer than I thought. Master. Here's what Master must have been thinking. The fact that the files are protected so tightly means they must contain some important secret. For example, perhaps the secret of the school. While I was busy struggling to make a sound, Kyoko pushed forward and asked her next question. How much longer until everything's unlocked? That's right. Uh, it's gonna be a while. Leave it to me. But I'm definitely gonna do it, so you can just leave it to me. I see. It's because of how long it would take he'd sign Alter Ego to handle the workload. <laughs> Smart, also means that work remains interrupted, even after his death. Once again, Kyoko typed quickly. Keep it up, but be careful not to let the mastermind notice you. That's right. Don't worry, I got a secret plan already, just in case. Actually, I can't see what's going on using my built-in webcam, so if anyone suspicious shows up, I'll just scream for help real loud. It's a pretty basic plan, I have to say. Yes, indeed. That's fine during the day, but nighttime is a concern. Huh? Why? Are you okay with this? Have you forgotten? All our rooms are completely soundproof. Once we close our doors, he can scream as loud as he wants, but we won't hear a thing. Okay, then how about once it's nighttime, we each take turrets guarding the dressing room? I don't know. However... Good chance the mastermind will notice us going in and out of the dressing room like that. Then what can we do? So then. Once nighttime comes, I'll leave the door to my room open. Why? Then there's no way I can miss Alter Ego yelling. But. 
If you leave your door open at night, then it's true. there's a chance I may become a victim myself, I know. However, but I'm not as weak as you may think. I wouldn't go down without a fight, I assure you. That was undeniable strength in her voice when she said that. I'd be very curious to what she would do. I mean, she is the one that has a medical tie on with a... Oh no, it's an eagle. I thought it was a medical symbol at first. Predacious, but it's not. She was totally confident she would be okay. That confidence was somewhat similar to Bayaka's tone, but at the same time different. Yeah, it had an entirely different feel for sure. She has a gun. She must have a gun, right? Like someone had been dropped into a battlefield versus someone had been born on the battlefield. Huh. I feel like that was the fundamental difference. I was put on my thoughts by the voice suddenly emanating from the laptop. So, um... Do you mind if I ask a few questions? Um... I haven't seen Master for a while. When you got here, I thought it was him, but... Is Master... For a split second, Kyoko didn't seem to know what to do, but she recovered just as fast and quickly began typing. Her answer was clear, concise, direct. Chihiro is dead. Mondo killed him. Oh. Oh, that's still sad. Okay, then. I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chances Master would survive this situation were very low. So I was prepared for this moment. <laughs> it's uh, like... I feel sorry for her. Um... It's a guy, but yeah. Can you imagine how it must be able to lose your other self? <laughs> it's a simple computer program that does not have feelings. It's simulating them, but yeah, it's, I agree with Celeste, it doesn't have feelings, but it's simulating them. What? Are you sure about that? Shall we go? Anyway, that's enough for today. If we linger too long, Mastermind will start to suspect something. Then Kyoko tap one last sentence. I'll come back later. Mm. Yes, please do. It's a promise, okay? Bye-bye. Yeah, I seem totally different from when we first arrived. He seemed upbeat. Was it just because he was following his programming, or could he have actually been worried about us? Could it be... Hmm. What's wrong, Hero? You know? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering if we might be able to get this laptop online. Like, could we call for help from the outside? Hmm. But this is just a dressing room. I don't think you can get online from here. Well? If we take it out of here and find somewhere that does have online access... Hey! It's way too dangerous. The mastermind will find out in no time. Uh, um... True. Indeed. It's not time for taking needless risks. For now, I'll monitor the progress of the file analysis. I'm confident we'll cover some kind of clue once it's finished. Hmm. Feels like a detour more than anything else, but I suppose it can't be helped. Of course. Well, for now, all we can do is wait for Alter Ego to finish his work. You know? So should we get going? It's true. Indeed. <laughs> Goodbye. We'll be back. I promise. Stop with that. <sighs> Come on, Ifumi. Let's I go. I suppose. Mr. Pickles from SpongeBob. Oh, gosh. As soon as we were out of the hall, he and I laughed out a joyful shout. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? I ended up doing something totally awesome, right? With a cute chipmunk face. As if he'd been waiting for his cue. So. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Hina's gained enough experience to level up. <laughs> What's the matter? So it was awesome, something. Monokuma? What the heck? You guys seem remarkably good spirits. Did something happen? No, nothing in particular. <laughs> Keep it sick, it's not fair. I had a an exclusive interview. <laughs> denied, denied, super denied. What the heck? Yeah, just because you demand something doesn't mean we have to do it. Say what? Do it? You mean like, do it, do it? Shut up. Huh? Wait, what? What do you mean, do it, do it? Disgusting. Yeah, gross. You said do it. Just the <laughs> You said it first. <laughs> We're just talking about going to the bathhouse. We have not had a chance to relax in some time. Huh? <sighs> but unfortunately, the bathhouse is not divided into the men and women sections. <laughs> so we decided to do rock, paper, scissors to decide which group would go first. You know, won the match for us, and that is why we we're all so pleased. Huh? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> okay, boys, why don't you head on back to the dining hall or so? We're going to take a nice long bath. Hey, come on. We're going to do, right? We lost. Fair and square. <laughs> <laughs> Well, ladies, shall we go? Celeste didn't hesitate to come up with the ruse, and her poker face didn't even flinch. Well, good thing for you, Celeste. So she and the other ghosts head back into the dressing room. Oh, um... Damnation! Nuts and dang it, we totally lost. No day without getting to take my very first bath here. Uh, um... Yeah, but tomorrow for sure. You'll definitely get that bath tomorrow. Okay, so should we head back to the dining hall now? Hey! Hold on. Hey! Hey! What? Strange here. Very strange. What do you mean? <laughs> the perfect chance for you to sneak a peek. Huh? Without a doubt. Oh no. I thought you were all about the 2D. <laughs> I mean, shut up, sit down, and listen to what I have to say. Why are you promoting this? You demented half panda, why? What? No! <laughs> I was forced to ask myself, should I sneak it? <laughs> I can't do that. Let's just head back to the what about your man's fantasy? No. I'm not sure about being spying on girls. It should be more about your hopes or your dreams or adventure or whatever. 
I'm not going to spy on them. This is kind of depressing. I can't even describe it. The promo fan service would have been yours. Um, supposedly there's a way to actually do that, but I don't even want to know. Even if I was there. I don't, I don't. <laughs> it's I, like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Sure it is. A real life woman is useless to me, but looking at their naked form might be okay. Shut up! No way! It'll be dead meat for sure. You got it! What a nice bath. This is fine. Likes it all that time, it's a true pleasure. Indeed. Oh, even Kiri Giri enjoyed it? Of course. Let's have a nice protein coffee, bud. <laughs> no time for that. So in the end. That's what I figured. Huh? huh? Actually. We're just saying the bath house about time for you to get up to something. Because. Happy were, and you have a little monster like you would never let that last for long. Hmm. You're also terrible to me. You're terrible to everybody. My entire existence! I got presents for you all? Presents. Well now, well now, well now, well now. Have I got your attention? Let's head to the gym where your presents are waiting. See ya later! No questions, no daily dialing, can move on and everything will become clear. Oh, um... What are you scheming this time? It would seem... It's probably gonna repeat the same thing again. Probably has to move to get things going. Huh? Again? I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. <sighs> totally traumatized. You have alter ego. I'm sure you'll find something like that to help us for now. All we have to do is endure it, come what may. Alright, now we're in the freaking gym again. Now what? There's Biaka and Toko. What? To be kept waiting with the likes of you, rest assured, if we had access to firearms, you will be dead. Did you just get here early? <laughs> Did you forget how to walk? Is not why you're late? It's simple. Right foot, left foot, right foot. <laughs> Same as always, I see. Her, on the other hand. What the heck? Oh, she's back to her Debbie Downer self, huh? <laughs> I heard what sounded like a sneeze, and she was back to her old self. <laughs> so, she, so now she goes from manic depressive to whatever she sneezes. Seems kind of like a late add into the mix. <laughs> what the heck? Why does everyone keep making fun of me? Hope you all win the lottery and get hit by a bus. Dang. Oh. So when you want to say something mean, then you can talk, huh? Well. Anyway, it looks like everyone's here. So then. Which means... Let's have the demented bear, who's a half panda wannabe, come up and talk to us. Hello, you freaking devil bear thing. You guys? Let's get started. What? Come on, out with it. What kind of motive have you prepared for us this time? However... What are you subject us to? It would not break. Okay. That's right, we're not going to lose to you ever again. Come on! You have to get so defensive. Calm down. I've decided to change things up a bit this time. Up until now, we've been using the whoosh of the north wind to get you all moving. <laughs> you got to use the sun to light a fire under someone's butt? Without further ado, I give you this! Monies. Ten million dollars! Right. I've prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. What do you think? It's ten million bucks! Ten million smackaroos! It's like totally wow wow wow, am I right? So that's the motive you prepared for us? Ten million dollars is... <laughs> It's not nearly enough. <laughs> of course, he's an Illuminati. What does he care about it? It's true. Because the motto is money certainly is the gold standard, so to speak. Whether it's in a mystery novel or the real world. Hmm. But what are you saying? It's only we kill each other for money. Of course. He's right. You can't simply purchase a person's life. Uh, um. You can say ten million or however much. I don't give a crap. For serious. Yeah, they're all right. Whether it's ten million or other amount of money. No, not even just money. From now on, no matter what you do, don't kill our friends. <laughs> Stop trying to act tough. I can't wait! I can't wait! Most important things to live a pure and moral communal life. But Akuma disappeared, leaving his words on stage along with a massive sum of money. Um... It's nothing to worry about, right? Nobody would kill a friend for money, right? <laughs> Have you so quickly forgotten the lesson from last time? You can't judge others by your own standard. <laughs> yeah, there might be someone here who's having money problems. <laughs> First, I have earned over one million dollars for my gambling efforts. My life is comfortable. Why are the dot dot dot? Uh, I'm telling you. What about you? You know nothing. I'm a super popular content creator. I don't have any problem making enough to buy my comics and DVDs. Yeah. 
then hey. just stop pressing others with their personal finances is ugly. <laughs> ugly? <laughs> Don't worry, either way, whatever's gonna happen will happen without warning. That's in the nature of this game. Ding dong, bing bong! <clears throat> this is a school announcement. As such, soon the doors to the dining hall. Okay then. Yeah, we get it. Hmm. It's that time already, huh? Hey. Yep. Let me remind you, starting tonight I'll be leaving my door open to make sure nothing happens to Alter Ego. Just because my door is open, don't assume we'll make an easy target. Because... Or the predator might find itself easily the prey. Force's calm and composed was clear she meant what she said. You know? Okay, okay, let's everyone just head back to our rooms. How about that? Don't think about the whole money thing, got it? Good, then let's break. Hmm. How's that? Pretty good, right Taka? He's gone. Hmm. Right. <laughs> He's gone. Oh boy, Man, there's no way I'm going to get anyone to kill anyone else. I told myself that, but deep down in my heart I was still troubled. After all, I thought the same thing last time about having our secrets revealed. Even the reason for a completely nonsensical murder can still happen. That's the lesson we learned. But this time, it's different, I'm sure of it. But as the program Chihiro left behind, Alter Ego, we finally have some small hope to grasp onto. As long as we have that, I'm sure we'll do better. I don't know if you should hang on to that. What's with the doll? Little kids have it so easy, because they can put a Lil in front of their name and right, right off the bat everyone thinks they're cute. Well fine then, I want everyone to start calling me Lil Monokuma. That's not how it works. See, just by adding that my cutest gives my least like 10%, right? No. You're still a demented panda bear. The world doesn't have enough Lils. Before Lils will leave the salvation of the world. Just imagine, Lil arsonist, Lil war criminal, Lil destruction of the environment? No. Lil hit and run, Lil death taxi, Lil de great depression. This subject can suddenly become brighter! Shut up. Our dreams are expanding! Ding ding! Quiet. I despise you, Monokuma. <laughs> ding dong, bang bong. Good morning, everyone! Get ready to. Oh, people are already out. Why are they out? Good morning. Did you just wake up? Yeah. It's fine, of course, but getting up a little early is better. You can exercise in the room till nighttime ends. A big meal after working up a sweat is divine. Okay. Hey, Makoto. Hey, Marta Makoto. Good morning. You're kind of sweaty. Have you been exercising? That's right. Yep, me and Circa are doing our morning workout. Oh, but I didn't break our nighttime promise. I just ran around my room until it ended. Why don't you come with us next time? I don't think I can keep up with you and Sakura. Huh? Ah, oh, seriously? Ah. We can do something in the rec room. I'm not good as much, but I know how to play Othello. What the heck is Othello? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I seriously don't know what that is. Ah, well, hello. I love that. Morning. Mm, mm. It's great. My morning has blessed my entire future. It really feels like any other morning to me. <laughs> but my soul is positivity overflowing with strawberries today. <laughs> well, I'm off. That was bizarre, even for him. Could it be? So people here today are the same yesterday, just as seven. Mm. Yeah, I can took our lost cause, but. Looks like Taka's decided to stop coming for good, too. It's just like he's just given up. <laughs> People wound as tight as he is would, when you snap, you snap hard. Wish there was some way to make him better. Hmm. Another topic, Kyoko, did everything go alright last night? Indeed. Yeah, I didn't have any problems. Correct. I went checking the laptop a little while ago and there wasn't any problems there either, but... Whew. It's related to this case, I suppose this should be blunt. Anyway... I have to make a new rule. Using Alter Ego without permission is prohibited. Someone going in and out of the dressing room would draw unwanted attention from the mastermind. Oh! I would have thought that would be obvious. Why do we need to make a roll about it? Well... That's a good question. Hey. Do you have any thoughts on that, Hufumi? Oh, um... No, it's just like you say, we all need to be very careful. Huh? Huh? Say what? Shut up and eat. Why don't we have time to stand around flapping our what? lips? What? Well, you are a ticked off Joe Sergeant all of a sudden. Trust me, he's not a ticked off Joe Sergeant. You haven't seen a ticked off Joe Sergeant. I have. And they were very calm about it, which makes it even worse. We ate breakfast in a rush to head back to our rooms. There's Kirigiri over there. 
Correct. I spent some time with him. However, I don't have anything to say. Are you okay with that? Sure. I spent some time with Kyoko in silence. <laughs> You're a little closer today. Mm, not really. She didn't say anything, so why would I even. Is that a waste? Hmm. Ding dong. Uh, Taka. Is it true? Can I really see Chihiro? You mean Alter Ego? He's still alive? Not, not quite. Let me see. I want to talk to him. Taka. Uh. Yeah, he's creeping me out. Okay, why don't we get going? Yes, let's take him to go see. Just a second. Huh? Hey. It's probably best if you don't drag him around with you too much, given his current condition. Yeah, I know that, but I wasn't planning on it, so I thought we could head to Dino or something. Correct. Well, then I guess it's okay. Um, we're going to the bathhouse. Okay, so there's the latch outside the locker. Inside. Another latch is broken out, Alter Ego. How do I talk to him? Oh, um, well, you just tell me what you want to say and I'll type it for you. Do you hate Mondo? And since I couldn't stop him, do you hate me? It's clear he's forced himself to get the words out. From his mouth, from the bottom of his heart, he f forced his weakened voice to make the sounds. Please. Okay. Type the questions exactly as Taka had asked them. And then? So, um... Do you hold yourself responsible? But... Massacre Taka now, I think this is what he would say. Please you live your life for the both of us. It's impossible for me now, but you can still survive and escape. All of you. Hey, Taka. It's about to say more, but quickly close my mouth. Hey! The one's asking the questions is Taka, right? Analyzing all available data, that's the only conclusion I can come to. Um... That's what told me how close Taka and Mondo had become. So that must be why he feels responsible. The screen suddenly went dark, and what appeared next was... Stop fucking around! Of course, that's the first words out of his mouth. You're not letting yourself get crushed under the weight of that responsibility, are you? Yo. The man's only worth as much as the load he can carry. You get it, right, bro? What am I saying? Of course you do. Hmm. That's... So... I'm sorry if I startled you. That was my attempt at a simulation using the data about Mondo that Master had given me. If I figured if Taka was depressed, that's the kind of thing Mondo would have said to him. Yo. So you're just gonna stand there, huh? Just wait for things to get better? Just take your time and get all depressed? Take the time to indulge your regrets? You may even start walking again without realizing it. Sure, that's the kind of mediocre thing that might work for some people. <laughs> what if I said that with kind of a condescending tone? Uh, uh, Taka? Uh, Oh, that's creepy. Look, what, what, what's with the Joker face? It's starting to sink in. The way a bucket full of water sinks into a bone-dry sponge. Huh? <sighs> Damn, what is this? <laughs> Dragon Ball? What, what is this? For the fudge is Taka? Your eyes. F you. What the heck? I got. Yeah. I'm a new. Uh, what? Yeah. Okay, calm down. What? And don't call me Taka. That's not my name anymore. Yeah. I. Uh, as attacking Taka, I should walk briskly into the dressing room. Just a room. second. What do you think you're doing? Kyoko. Um, no, see, this Enough is just... already. Don't go around doing whatever you feel like it causes problems, and not just for me, for everyone. Sorry. Correct. If you're really sorry, you'll get out of here. Now. Okay. Okay, so that didn't go well. That did not go well at all. Oh, boy. Ding dong, bing bong. Hmm, ahem, <clears throat> as such, yes, you're okay. Yes, we get it. Shut up, you bear. I said to wait till Murphy tell his whole thing. For now, it's time to sleep. Yes, yeah, sleep and without any of Monokuma's theatrics, which is what I'm getting right now. You wanna know why I hate video games? Not really. 
You might not believe this, but I had a best friend once. Uh huh. Actually, he was my only friend, but unlike me, he had all kinds of friends. So me and him were all at the house one day when a big group of guys showed up to hang out. They just bought the latest big budget video game. Sat there, lost in the game, passing the controller back and forth for hours, but not me. I sat there while. Okay. This story actually happened to me. <laughs> I remember this. This this is actually a story that happened to me. So, okay, Monokuma, you got me. You got me to relate to you. Now shut up, you bear. I just watched. What's wrong with that? I didn't care. But just by watching, I was able to nail down all the best strategies, even though I never actually played and it. And I don't plan on ever playing it in the future, either. I feel bad. I don't want that to wake me up in the morning. Well, I'm going to end it here so I can uh, continue with a new day in the next episode. So thank you for watching this. Goodbye.